All right, so this is a 31 Model A five window coupe we've been working on for Gary Schmunk. This has been one of those kind of unexpected to every turn projects. What I mean is we got the car initially, we sandblasted it, we didn't have much of a car left. This is literally the second body that we purchased. We're using the frame from the original car because it is an aftermarket frame. But what's cool about that is, <laughs> I say cool liberally, it's been a lot of problems with guys drilling holes in the wrong spots or not having brackets where they belong or whatever. So we're still in the middle of the fit process for any of the body. Like we started widening the rear fenders for the 10 inch wheel. And then we we're trying to make the running board vibe with that and the front fenders. And now we've gotten away from that. Now we're having to fit the whole front end because it was a ladder of this doesn't fit, this doesn't fit, this doesn't fit over and over again. So right down to the headlight bar, it's way too close to the grill. So now we got a different headlight bar coming, but the brackets wouldn't go in the right place because the holes in the frame were in the wrong spot. Luckily, I bought a Roadster recently that is a stock frame. So we had a good spot to, to get those numbers correct and those holes in the proper spot. So we've had to re-drill and remount every single bracket on this chassis on both sides. On top of that, you've got aftermarket running boards, splash aprons, sills, uh, fenders. So all these aftermarket components that have been used over all the years that weren't installed correctly have all the holes in the wrong spots. Now we got to rework them. Top of that, I believe this is original fender because it's got a big crack in it. Someone tried to braze in. Uh, we got a bunch of brakes here. Um, this one fits decently, except for right here. It's got like a huge like half inch gap when you put it where it should go. So that's what I mean by panel fit. They don't always fit. You've got to make them fit. And if you want a good quality looking car, you don't even need a quality looking car, just a decent looking car. You need the panels to actually fit. Um, otherwise, you got a gap big enough, you can throw a cat through, it's gonna look terrible. Uh, so that's what we're trying to dial in on this, like even right here where the hood fits the grill shell. You know, all that stuff ties into the end appeal of the car. You'll spend more time in fab than you will in body because of little stuff like this.